With 2,300 languages, 48 countries, 4.5 billion people spread across 30% of the Earth's land mass. It's safe to say that Asia, its cultures and subcultures are incredibly diverse. From the different ways we speak and interact, to the food we eat, and even the music we listen to, there is so much that could divide us and keep us apart. And yet, here we are, the Asian diaspora, gathering together to form an online community that has united over one shared sentiment, a pride in our Asian heritage. In September of 2018, a group of friends who met at a weekend language school in Melbourne, Australia, were inspired to create an online platform where they could share Asian-related memes, stories, and experiences. Two amazing years later, Subtle Asian Traits has grown to over 1.8 million members from all around the world, connected with the goal of embracing and celebrating who we are as individuals and motivated by what we can achieve as a unified community. Our mission now is to serve this community that we've grown, continuing to connect people globally and encouraging each of you to love your skin and to embrace your roots. For our second birthday this year, we decided to hit the streets and ask people a few questions on both their subtle and not so subtle Asian traits. Um, I think my most subtle Asian trait is grocery shopping and then like keeping the plastic bags for like trash. Um, and for me, I like to hog all the um, extra bags <laughs> and sauces. Yeah, I like to take more than one free sample. <laughs> taking off my shoes every time before I get home and leaving them at the front. I like to be respectful to elderly and bow to people. <laughs> even, even though it's embarrassing, I still do it. Playing a musical instrument at a young age, so piano and violin, shout out to the two set fans out there. Practicing the violin. Panicking when I forgot to cook rice and my parents pull up. <laughs> the idea that 99.9% .9 is still 0.1% of a failure. Waiting for a sale, but not just any regular sale, like a take a further before I buy anything, because we're not buying anything full price in this house, you know what I'm saying? I'm lactose intolerant. I eat rice with almost everything. I like to clean a lot of my cutlery with some jasmine tea, or at least wipe it with some, <laughs> with some tissue before going and using it at a restaurant. <laughs> Having bubble tea? Having bubble tea. <laughs> not knowing the word for proud. So I guess my question to you guys is, what is that word? Please tell me, because I want to share that with my children. Speaking in my own language um, with my friends when we go out somewhere in public. Um, slapping watermelons at like the market and like when it's really heavy, that means there's like a lot of juice in there. I like to slap the watermelon before choosing which one to buy. Oh, me too. I like smacking the watermelon. <laughs> There's too many foods, there's too many cultures. Nah, you can't ask that question to anyone. Too hard. You can't go wrong with like your parents and your whole family's making dumplings. My favorite Asian food is most likely Silngat Phan, which is roast duck and rice. Ramen, definitely. Oh, uh, definitely bun sale. <laughs> Tomato rice, crispy chicken. How do you say that in bit? Uh, gong gai gai gong. Siao gai, soy sauce chicken. Favorite Asian food? I actually like pho. Pho's my favorite, no doubt. That counts. Pho? My mum's pho, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. My dad does the cooking in the house because we break stereotypes like that. <laughs> Why are we like this? <laughs> I really like Singapore chili crab. I would probably say biryani. Bubble tea and hot pot. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh. Oh, so Definitely malatang. Well, our favorite Asian food is malatang. Yeah, we get it like every week. Every week. <laughs> Maratang! <laughs> we, like, we love Maratang. We eat it like every day. Yeah, every day, literally. Go. And be like, oh, I'm broke, but Maratang? Yeah. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's go. go. Let's go. Spring rolls. Uh, for all you Vietnamese out there, like Ban Hoi. Um, I like um, the Cantonese um, dim sums, like Phan Cheng. Cheng Phan Na Phan Cheng. Oh my god, that's a swear word. Don't include that. Cheng Phan Na Phan Cheng. <laughs> Being Asian, what does being Asian mean to me? Um, um. Oh. 
What does it mean to be Asian? Um, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Wait. Uh, uh, do you understand? Um, I think it means a lot for me to be Asian. Um, and I think I'm just starting to figure that out. I think to be Asian means that you have like a value system where it's predominantly underpinned by like, you know, family. To have unique traits that belong to you, like... Being part of a community and a culture that has done such amazing things and being part of a culture that's now just rising in society and becoming more prevalent. It's a whole race, you know, it's a... We dominate the world. We have, we have the most population in the world and it's an, it's an amazing uh, community to be a part of and god damn the food's good. Good food? Good food, being part of the community. There's this connection that we feel with each other and a more closer bond. Uh, belonging but not belonging. <laughs> um, for me it's not knowing what my parents went through but still being very very grateful for it. Can I change mine to that? Yeah, that. <laughs> Be able to grow up with such a rich and textured lifestyle. I think it means a lot. I think the Asian community is so big and strong and it feels nice being a part of this community and being able to support and love each other. I feel like what it means to be Asian is always to strive and find ways to make the life, the world better for either you or your family or the world. And I feel like our parents, our grandparents have already succeeded as soon as they landed, as soon as they even tried to take the bold risk to leave the country, the fact is they made it. And so I feel like for us to take it to the next level, we got to improve ourselves. We have to end racism. We got to make this world a better place as corny as it sounds. And so I feel like that's the best way to make our parents proud. Because back then I used to feel like I needed to make them proud, but now I want to make them proud. Happy birthday, Subtle Asian Traits. It's been a wonderful two years of making me giggle and laugh. Happy birthday, Sat. Happy birthday, SAT. Happy birthday, Subtle Asian Traits. Happy birthday, Subtle Asian Traits. Happy birthday, Subtle Asian Traits. Happy birthday, Sat. Happy birthday, Subtle Asian Traits. <laughs> oh, happy birthday, Subtle Asian Traits. Happy birthday, Subtle Asian Traits. Happy birthday, Subtle Asian Traits. Uh, happy birthday, Subtle Asian Traits. Happy birthday, Subtle Asian Traits. Happy birthday, Subtle Asian Traits. Subtle Asian Traits, you guys are sick. What's <laughs> it? Happy birthday, Subtle Asian Traits. Happy birthday, subtle Asian traits. Yay.